6.15 on this Tuesday, Election Day, and when you're headed to the polls, I mean, it depends on where you are. Some people will see more rain than others. We've got some showers out there, a few downpours mixed in as well, but we're not looking anything severe as you're heading out this morning, but some of us may want that umbrella just to at least start things out this morning. The higher odds of getting uh, some showers as we go through the morning hours will basically be along and uh, north here of I-44, but we've still got a few isolated showers for those of you here to the east as well. But let's go ahead and get a look at dual Doppler, and we've got the downpours now approaching the Tulsa Metro from the south and from the west. You can see basically riding right up here, I-44 and northward, so some downpours here very close to Sepulpa as you work your way back here over Keystone Lake and all the way back up near Hominy, back over to around Pawhuska, some downpours moving through. We haven't had any lightning with this yet, but I wouldn't be surprised as this continues to track off to the north and east if we uh, don't start to see a few uh, lightning strikes with this as this, as this does uh, move off to the north and east. But even downtown Tulsa, those of you here, Sky Took, we're going to have some rain as this does move on in. We've also had some showers here farther to the north and east, Miami, Vanita, as you head over to around Grove and Grand Lake. And we'll oh, look a little farther to the south. It's not quite as heavy, but some light showers still ongoing here. Okima back through uh, Holdenville and just to the north and uh, west here of McAllister this morning. Even a few more showers near Porter, Muskogee, and tracking over to around West. Wagner as well. Now by later this afternoon, the showers keep pushing off to the north and at least to the first half of the afternoon, we may still have a few lingering here across northern portions of green country, southeastern Kansas, but the overall trend will be for these showers to move on out and most of us drying out uh, where we do see the rain this morning once we get into the afternoon. Right now you can see the clouds overhead in Owasso. Unfortunately, there has been a lunar eclipse this morning. We just can't see it with the cloud cover, so that's the unfortunate uh, thing with the cloud cover, but we'll certainly welcome the rain. As you're heading out to the poles today, again, the showers will come to an end by later today. Temperatures are going to be comfortable, low to mid 70s for our highs with a steady south to southeast breeze and keeping it mild this evening, keeping the clouds around as well. Mid 60s still around 10 o'clock will probably hold in the low to mid 60s into tomorrow morning. Cold front comes in on Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Another chance for a few showers and storms as that front sweeps on on through and then we get much colder. But before we get cold, our warmest day of the week will be tomorrow with highs near the 80 degree mark. But look at these numbers here Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday feeling a bit more like late December into January with highs in the upper 40s to near 50 and lows down into the 20s. How long we keep the cold weather around into next week in the 10 day forecast in the next half hour.